let's take a moment to remember Baba and set ourselves in the form of an angel. Today's Murli is where Baba is speaking to us and focusing on what it means to be an angel. What are the qualifications of an angel? And what is the role of either soul in my angelic form? So let's listen to this Murli together. Original date of the Murli is 21st of September, 1975. Title of the Murli is An angel is one who has no relationship with anyone except the one father. The special focus in today's Murli is about how to be an angel and an angel is one who has a relationship with only one father and would only remember the father in any situation, in any circumstances, then remembering a human being. So let's see what Baba has to say us today. Do you remember the intoxication of the wonder of I, Vare Man? Now, this is specifically a question where Baba is reminding us about the initial period of the Yajna, where in the Tapasya, it was very clearly put across and everybody were in the intoxication of who I am is and soul and not a body. The wonder of I is that who I am is a soul. Does that day, that sparkle and that intoxication remain in your awareness? Those days of such intoxication were very unique. As soon as you remember the days of such intoxication, you become intoxicated. So if we rewind a bit in the initial part of we getting into knowledge and when I remember that who I am is a soul. Remember those that day when we got this. Get into that intoxication of who I am is a soul. There was such intoxication and happiness that even the physical feet would be dancing naturally whilst walking and moving around. You would not dance just according to a program. You would be dancing in your mind and your body would also be dancing naturally. You can perform this natural dance constantly. The way your eyes look at everything, the way your hands move, and the way your feet walk also perform a natural dance of happiness. The way your eyes look at everything, the way your hands move, and the way your feet walk also perform a natural dance of happiness. 
This is called the dance of angels. Do you constantly dance this natural dance? It is said that the feet of angels can never touch the ground. It is said that the feet of angels can never touch the ground. So too, souls who are to become angels do not put their feet on the ground. That is, they never have the awareness of the body. Parishto ko dharti ki koi bhi smriti nahi hoti hai. Parishto ko parsh se koi rishta nahi hota hai. That's what it means in Hindi. Just as earth is clay, so too this body is also clay, is it not? So angels never place their feet on the ground. That is, their intellect is not caught up in the earth. That is, in the body. So who's an angel? Who's always stabilized? or who is always stabilizing in his state of being in soul conscious state. This is the sign of being an angel. The closer you come to an angelic stage, the more the feet will remain above the awareness of the body of the earth. If they do not remain above, but on the ground, then understand that there is a burden. Anything that has a burden, that has a weight, cannot remain up above. If there is not lightness, but a burden, then your feet will again and again come back to the ground and you will not become an angel. That is, you will not be light. The feet of angels automatically remain above the ground. They do not have to make effort to do this. For those who are light, it is said, these ones are flying through the air. They are not walking, but flying. In the same way, angels also fly in their elevated stage. So how do angels fly? In their elevated stage. There is such pleasure in seeing and performing this natural dance of angels. You Maharati teachers continuously perform this natural dance of angels, do you not? Karan Karavan Har Shibaba asked you teachers sitting directly in front of him. Someone said, Baba, cut off Maya's arms. To which Baba says, if Baba were to cut off Maya's arms, then the one who cuts them off would get the reward of it. The father can do anything. It is just an order of one second. However, how would the future of those who want to create their future be created? Should Baba do it for everyone or just for you? In that case, it would become like where there are many who nowadays accept bribes. A very nice analogy Baba is saying here. If I have to do everything, then the reward will also come to me. And then he compares this to 
bridling in the logic world it is who have to set up the satyuk or come in the golden age and perform it's we soul in that case it would become like where there are many who nowadays accept bribes this would also come in that list this is why in nepal they make little children hold a knife when they perform the act they themselves perform the act through the hands of a child this much is possible but the hand of courage definitely has to be used they do at least this much do they not this is a topic for the teachers for how long do you remain an angel throughout the day and for how long do you become a human being of the mortal world angels are not included in relationships of the divine family they constantly remain detached with whom do they have all their relationships if you make someone else your friend the relationship of a friend with the father would be reduced slightly whatever relationship you forge with someone else whether it is of a brother or a sister or any other relationship then because it is distributed that relationship would definitely be reduced with the one that used with who the one the father when the heart is broken it breaks into pieces even the father does not accept a broken heart the father is very possessive about his children this is a deep philosophy of relationships you should have no relationship with anyone except the one no friend no brother no sister because otherwise you would remember a particular soul in that relationship an angel means one who does not have any connection with other souls it is easy to have love but difficult to fulfill the responsibility of that love the number is not given on whether you have love but on the basis of how much you fulfill your responsibility not everyone knows how to fulfill the responsibility of love only some know how to do this the line of those who fulfill the responsibility keeps on changing although they have one aim their qualifications become different and this is why although they all have love only some fulfill the responsibility of that love even bhagats have love but they do not fulfill the responsibility of it children fulfill the responsibility but it is number wise a few out of multi millions and a handful out of that few fulfills the responsibility if something is lacking in fulfilling the responsibility of even one relationship or if something 
is missing in the relationship. For instance, if you have 75% relationship with the father and 25% with another soul, then too, you would not come in the list of those who fulfill the responsibility of love. You keep the company of the father for 75% of the time and you seek the company of someone else for 25% of the time. In that case, also, you would not come in the list of those who fulfill the responsibility. To fulfill a responsibility means to do it completely and fully. This is very deep aspect. Even in your thoughts, there should be no other soul. This is known as fulfilling your responsibility completely and fully. No matter what the situation is, whether of your mind or your body or of your relationships and connections, no other soul should enter your thoughts. The very second you even have the awareness of another soul, even in your thoughts, an account is created. The very second you even have the awareness of another soul, even in your thoughts, an account is created, a karmic account is created. That's what Baba means here. This is why only eight pass completely. And this is why we call them as Ashtaratan. There is the memorial of the special eight. There must definitely be such a deep significance. It is a very difficult paper. Angels are those who do not have anyone even in their thoughts, not even in any situation or under any compulsion. There should not be anyone in your thoughts for even a second. You can only become an angel when you remain strong even under any type of compulsion. The destination is very high, but there is no harm in that. It is easy because you have multi-million fold awareness. Sorry for that. However, because the attainment you receive from the relationship with the father may not be in your awareness at that time because you may forget it. However, because the attainment you receive from the relationship with the father may not be in your awareness at that time because you may forget it. You therefore seek the support of someone else. Is the attainment anything less or anything little? There is praise of the father and not of any other soul that he is the one who make easy everything that is difficult. So at any time of difficulty, you should seek the support of the father, not the support of any soul. However, because you are weak at that time, you forget the attainment you receive from him. When someone who is 
droning finds even a little straw he takes the support of it dukte ko tinke ka sahara kafi hai that's the way it's been expressed in hindi at that time because of distress you take the support of any little straw that comes in front of you but do you not realize that through doing this you become one with no support acha om shanti let's take a moment to reflect on today's murli and then you can unmute and share your takeaways for the day can unmute and share reflection on today's module Om Shanti. Om Shanti. So after listening to today's morning, like I am feeling that I am very, very far from the stage that Baba has mentioned in today's morning. That not even one thought of any other soul. it come in the mind like when i was listening i was this question was there at the back of my mind papa how can it, this be possible because we interact with souls throughout the day and then towards the end of the murli baba like mentions whenever there is some situation or some difficulty that time you have to remember only baba so that is i feel that yes yes it is understandable but how is it possible that throughout the day uh, you are not to have a single thought of any other soul so i have this question So you have this question of how do we sustain not having thoughts for any other soul, but being staying connected with Baba? Does does that what you mean? Yes. So would anybody like to answer this question? Any practices, any experiences that you may have? Om Shanti, sister. Om Shanti. Um, light. Like going to the question of the sister. See, if I want more roses in my garden, what should I do? I should start planting them. So, if I want more love in my life. then i should start sp- spreading it i should be the one to spread it i should be the pioneer and champion of love if i want more lightness and happiness in my life or uh, no such conflict and all 
so it my conflict has happened because of wrong connections or loose connections wrong connections with the gravity of the world loose connections with the upper gravity the light of god so once what i want or what i wish if i have to start doing it myself and i surround it with myself then i can generate it i'm just giving a ground start to do it i'm not talking about the actual reality which is there in that outside world let me put that out i am living in a different world a world where there is love a world where there is light light let it be even a kind of uh, a fiction an imagination as if like you know alice in wonderland i'm doing that no problem but i have to do that if i want that kind in my mind it has to be there that is why baba gives us these fantasy kind of things of angels and all actually do they exist or is it there no i have seen of course angels when i was very close to christianity in a convent school but here baba why does he specify that a fantasy which he wants us to take to say there are people like that. so why don't i start generating that it's just a a small sharing for the sisters theory uh, good please then did you get the answer is is like sister mentioned that this is the ground work yes somewhere we have to start But the only question that I'm having is that Baba is saying not even a single thought of any of the soul, because day to day during our work interactions we have to come in interaction with bodily beings, and of course we have to look at them as souls. And the, whenever we have to say something, whenever like to before joining this uh, uh, class, like the thought at four four fifty eight. am the thought came that yes i have to join there are like souls there so the thought has to be there of other souls even in uh, daily interactions like i have to get some work done then of course first the thought will come i have to call that soul i have to speak to her this is what i have to say to her then the thought will be there so maybe baba is implying something deeper maybe baba is saying that you don't have to be in bondage or in attraction of that soul because listening and reading once sometimes we are not able to catch baba's deeper directions so uh, maybe towards the end of the day the churning will help and baba will help to catch the deeper essence of the murli thank you baba S- sister just to i don't know whether this can help you or something this will be there this has to be there this kind of a world which we really won't like the contact will be there it cannot it not be there because baba if you want to really experience love live in light you have to know what is darkness you have to know the pangs the pains of that that will be there but this kind of thing when you uh, today's mudli when baba is saying why does he speak about angels if actually otherwise see in our gyan angelic form is just one what i call a passport section baba says brahmin angel it's a road to become a deity baba it's gone your past and all it's gone an angel it doesn't live in past so baba is just introducing this in the murli because you know these children of mine have to become deity in the future so for that he just introduces this concept of an angel form but this will be there so i agree in our day to day relationship but as long as my heart an angel heart to, uh, doesn't hurt people i should not get hurt or disturbed 
but that will exist that can never go that uh, i'm able to solve it can never never happen but what am i at the end of the day is what matters then was i able to really tally or pally with that person or that i cannot i don't think i can do i cannot do win with person who whom i'm sitting next to me for 50 years leave alone a person of the world so this will be there but at the end of the day i have to check myself my form my thing why because baba has told me brahmin you are now angel you have to become why take i just take it this so much uh thank you Om Shanti. Om. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Is it Shanti? Why? Go ahead. No, what I understood that what Baba says, just only remember me, not not others. It will happen only and only if we can understand the concept that what Baba says, Baba is Sansar. That means what Baba says that Baba को ही संसार बनाना अगर if Baba becomes your संसार but how can Baba become संसार uh, my संसार that we have to understand first we have to understand that Baba is as we say in भक्ति तुम्हें वह माता चपिता Baba is my father Baba is only my sister Baba is only my friend Baba is, which Baba only I have got all the relations then we have to understand who is mother father brother sister what we see in the world They are these. Those souls are only playing the role of mother, father, brother, and sister. Actually, my father, my brother, sister is only Baba. If we can understand that and we can believe in that, we can live in that. Then that will come automatically. That whenever the problem comes or when, whenever anything comes, Baba will come automatically in the picture in the first priority. It in today's world also Baba comes, but Baba comes in the last. If we can have Baba is sansar hai, then Baba will come the become the first priority. That what Baba wants to. Om Shanti. Yes, brother. Yes, Yogita Ben, you want to share something? Yes. Uh, am I audible? Yes. Yeah. Uh, here, what I think we can add one more point. It's not that you cannot, uh, you will not be, able, or you will be able to. Uh, do it as it is. It's not worldwide that you do not create a single thought of other person. If I'm a person sitting in the office and I need to talk to my manager, then that thought is going to come there definitely. That at this time I'm going to talk to the manager. What Baba is saying in other perspective that there are different types of thoughts, like necessary thoughts, waste thoughts, uh, pure thoughts, impure thoughts. So yathar. Which are uh, which are you know sensible thoughts. So what Baba is saying, I'm just directly giving a practical example. When I'm used to when I need to talk to a person, I'll talk to the person, but I will never have a gossip. Means two people are talking about third person in his absence. That is where the chintan unnecessary thought. In that context, do not create a single thought about any person because each was thought. Negative thought, impure thought. We are creating for other. They are going to travel to them, and they are going to have impact on their lives. And in return, they are going to get the same energy. Just like Baba uh, used to say in one in one movie. Uh, I I think I just uh, forgot the point, but I'll uh, try to recall. But in this context, because it's possible that we will not create a thought for other person. But we do not need to create any negative, any unnecessary thought, apart from what is exactly needed at that moment. So that in that context also we can take this point. If anyone have anything else to add, please. Thank you. As you brought on the topic of thoughts, I think yesterday's Arithmodli gave a deeper perspective of how thoughts. Are the basis of all other things. It's the power of thought is the foundation of even your karmic account. To list one amongst those many things that Baba spoke in yesterday is a bit moody. Right. So thought, 
like we it's not possible if we are together if we are working then we are definitely going to have the thought but it says that we should not have thought in that sense like negative impure and asakti which baba says it you shouldn't be uh, you shouldn't have asakti in even in people in things in you know eating habits in that context do not have any wasteful any unnecessary negative thought for any uh, human soul in that context when your mind is not uh, i mean when you are with yourself then your mind should be with baba only but not in the remembrance or not in the gossip mode for other people that's what i think it should be I and mean, we can take it in this perspective as well and we can add two points others as well uh adaki sister just to add to what you spoke on thoughts yes it was a beautiful thing but if you see in the blessing baba takes one thought baba saying you have a mind of happiness khan i like that word in english in hindi you have a mind of happiness and so can't you uh, distribute your treasure of happiness see from my mind and what is a mind you know it it is so full like that sort is an angel an angel is full happy angel so to link with that you have got a mind with that you can make souls prosperous so that even is a quality where baba gave us the day about aapke paas kya hai we have but we are not able to really use it the method how to give that's where we lack that as our brother said yes remembrance and all fine but i just wanted to uh, based on this even though there is so much you can talk about an angel the eyes of an angel the feet of an angel the heart of an angel hands lovely you know if you just take and all but can you just say what is best bodiless form or angelic form because for perfection baba says bodiless for really becoming a deity that in birth stage is angelic can you just go on both these forms the angelic form and the bodiless yes another point here uh, radha mani sister is saying in the chat in our thoughts if any body enters means that the account will create the point i lost i just uh, recollect that sometimes baba says into the muti that children meet everyone every time as if you are meeting the person at the uh, very first time so every time even if you meet the person second time third time or even almost every day have a thought that this is a soul that i am meeting very first time this will help in creating a positive energy because if we carry the burden of previous experiences with that soul there might be good experiences there might be not so good experiences but those previous experience will influence your present interaction with that soul and which will create accordingly negative or positive future interactions with the same soul baba says har atma se har baar aise milo jaise first time mil rahe ho as if you're meeting the first time so you will have a very whenever you meet a person first time you're not creating any judgmental thought before talking to them if you create a soul in that sense then you will have always good memories and always have good interactions with everyone and in that context when you have that thought for the person then that is not attachment or that is not the thought that baba is saying you don't create a single thought for others but that is just you know work related or temporary which is just when the person is in front and otherwise you will be able to sit into the silence with baba because you don't have any negative memories of with any souls so i think this uh, trick can also help us if we meet everyone as if we are meeting first time that can also help us thank you we know that you done muted yourself would you like to share yes sister thank you good morning baba a couple of day ago mentioned you have to be incorporeal voiceless uh, egoless and have pure thoughts if you have to discern somebody you know uh, i just happened to have an experience 
a couple of days ago we were researching for a home in a new city and uh, um, i happened to tell my mother there is a house over there and yesterday while going around she happened to see a house nearby and it was badly raining out here and full of greenish algae and she's supposed to confuse that for the house and i hadn't mentioned how far is it but that occupied her mindset fully and she happened to tell oh god this place is really difficult to live on and that's the imagination the mother created and yesterday when we went out we found the place to be much different than what had been thought of or imagined so our mind tends to create all sorts of imaginations and misperceptions occasionally and which is much different from the reality and nobody felt the agony except for the lady herself so we have to be once we are connected to baba we would be in that incorporeal stage or that stage of seeing it from a detached point of view apart from all prejudice all from judgments so maybe that's what baba would like to do us that to stay in connection and see the reality as it exists by being in close connections maybe we will get into misperceptions misunderstandings which are not good for the other soul as well maybe it's the soul's own learnings lessons or journey yeah and the second thought i had put in the message was i i have realized that deep harmony within self to do all the activities by staying in connection maybe it is definitely difficult we will have to cooperate with others and seek cooperations as well at times giving shubh bhavana is also a part of this activity but by being in connection with one father we would remain strong for a longer time yeah thank you om shanti yeah uh... very rightly mentioned vinod bhai and that's where we the so many times baba has told in so many murlis about this in a base that you are here to perform your role and others are here to perform their role what's expected is come perform your role and then go back and be with baba so one practice it can support uh, in connecting with baba as first thing when we come across anything when it's going to be a situation or circumstances is practicing being with the almighty all the time coming in performing roles in the lokic world and then again connecting with almighty like sanjay bhai said baba hi sansar hai now how will you how will one experience baba hi sansar hai only when we stay and stay connected with baba all the time so one practice that supports me is practicing traffic control and last few days i was missing out that which i restarted from yesterday uh that's a conscious effort to connect with baba uh and be there because in my experience morning times are always high elevated state because of amrit vela and then avik murli and then sakar murli and when we get back to the lokic world we get ourselves lost somewhere and traffic control is one technique that supports us to get connected and once that becomes a practice um, it becomes a part of us that's one uh, thought which i had anyone else would like to share anything on this just one Or sentence uh, sister just one sentence to what vinod bhai said we don't see reality we project reality we don't enjoy the butter in our hands we want to know the butter in the butter milk yeah Did anyone else like to share before we move on to meditation? Rachna Ben, 
ओम भाई भारती बहन एनी थॉट फ्रॉम योर डेंट ओम शांति ओम शांति um sister i had i need to discuss on a topic whether uh when we uh, have a uh, new things in front of us so how to make out whether it is uh, which path to choose on the basis of today's murli which which path is best for us um baba says to have parak shakti but if anyone has an experience of day to day life then how to move on in life considering the facts which are present in front of us om shanti would anybody like to address sister's question i only remember one lesson i learned when i studied economics i have a 10 rupee note with me it's the uh, uh, means do i go to buy a chocolate or do i go to buy a cigar so what i like what do i need what i want the means is limited but the ends to justify the means is unlimited so it's my choice to find out what i need where i want to go once i put it in my mind i think the the wrong path will just go away from me the right path will be i don't know maybe it's a very dogmatic rigid principle but i loved the principle of economics which i had it sarthi when does it answers your question yes sister thank you om shanti om shanti yes one tip that vinod bhai is giving you parthi ben he says write down all options sister one more thing that uh, comes to mind my mind is while there are so many options in front of you while you're choosing an option um, is that choice making you happy or is that choice is bringing any doubts or is the choice making you unhappy where there is some kind of uh, you know disempowering conversations about that choice choose what is empowering and if you're not able to take any choices surrender it to baba in fact first thing is that is to surrender it to baba and then i'm sure something will show up which will give you a a kick or an empowering context as to this is the choice i wish to take it okay uh, thank you sister actually uh, it's uh, as a being a kumari i feel that you need to have a very uh, good company and if you uh, by mistake also fall in a punk fall in a company who is not who is you know uh, not doing purushart or is uh, going on a wrong way and if you fall into the company of such kind of person then there is a danger of yours also falling down so it's basically all about that means uh, how to uh, protect yourself from all these things and uh, go on a uh, way which is elevated okay then uh, thank you so much sister om shanti that's why baba says so many times be always in the company of almighty father okay so that, that means physical company is not uh, does not matter if if from within we are connected with baba good question would anybody like to give any lights on this before i speak on this i think sister the company which you can drive forward like a leader taking seva into consideration doing activities towards bringing happiness and well being to others would make you a person who is worth being followed by others rang ko apne rang mein rang do take the company along in the direction now that we all have clear directions in which we should live or move forward 
we know despite being with others we know like that's how we are able to say that that is the wrong way so we know somewhere what is the right way if we t- tend to go in that with a strong instinct then the other people will definitely be influenced and change towards your direction so gyan dharana seva is what we should be doing more rigorously it is going to make us a different person but either way would become a different person without our own knowledge so this way you have at least a uh, authority or somewhere to fall back on to which most of us follow and the others will then tend to change towards your way which is the elevated way very true brother one more point i just would like to add it doesn't matter at all with a physical company the outer world because specifically i guess the sister is asking consider uh, in the context that she is a working kumari she is not a surrendered kumari i am also a working kumari and uh, a company of outside people doesn't matter at all if i am 100% convinced what i am doing is right for me i have been asked weird questions by my friends into office and i have answered them in such a way that they get it that this is not the person we should mess with so this is if we have the conviction we don't need to convince people we don't need to give explanations we don't even need try to change them we just be ourselves and they will understand that okay this is not the person that i should uh, you know try to change or i should mess with or i should disturb how they learn few things from us if they are a potential bk they might uh, follow us or they might start uh, you know uh, doing things like us or if they are not a potential bk then they will be on their own way but they will never mess with you if you are 100% convinced that you whatever you are doing is right for you and this is my day to day every day experience for last 10 or 20 years i have never explained i have never tried to convince i have never apologized i just clearly said this is not for me i am not doing that's it no, this is not because if i convince then i am not insulting the person for example if someone is offering me to eat something just a simple example and i know it's not good for me because of what is my reason of being a bk but i don't have the ten, uh, intention to insult the person so i can say it up front in the right way with the right intention and that person get the idea that person get the vibes and then that person doesn't feel insulted because that's what not my energy at all so you do need to Uh, worry about uh, physical companies at all if your inner self is connected with baba that's how i feel because that's my everyday experience so i just thought to share thank you lucky ben i know you are trying to pull the clock because i know we are crossing time just one thing to the question the same question the same question was asked by ramesh bhai to brahma baba when he wa uh, he was engaged to usha ben i think if she can go through it it was a beautiful explanation given by brahma baba to ramesh bhai and how he and usha ben later the physical company was there how did they really become like holy swans in spite of the company but why that kind of situation was allowed that they, those days but why not these days i think there's a very good uh, class now uh, it's such a lovely thing to share but i think the sisters doubt is thoroughly grounded because it was there in those days om shanti okay sister i will refer to the class and also the discussion has uh, drived my focus towards what i really want to do so now i am relieved thank you om shanti another point just before we close uh, in today's murli baba is mentioned about few lines where he speaks about 75% 25% mathematics you know uh, as to how you will lose baba's company how will you have baba's company request you to please look at that paragraph read it you should get answer in that as well so in the interest of time i'm not discussing it in length but you can refer to that paragraph today in today's morning okay sister thank you
All right, let's move on to meditation and experience being in the angelic form for a few minutes without any commentary. Let's experience silence before we close. Om Shanti. Thank you, Divine Family. Thank you, Baba. Have a wonderful day and have this experience of who I am as an elevated soul, flying and experience the angelic form. Om Shanti. We meet okay. tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. Om Shanti.